In this video, you will learn how to create alerts for different Google Cloud products using Cloud Monitoring. Alerting is a service which provides timely awareness to problems in your cloud application so that you can diagnose and resolve them quickly. Let us say you want to get notified in situations where you might want to take an action to prevent issues for your users, like when 75% CPU usage for longer than 2 minutes occur into your system. In Cloud Monitoring, you can create alerting policy to describe the situation you want to be notified of and to indicate how to notify you. The alerting policy monitors your CPU usage. When the CPU usage exceeds 75% for more than 2 minutes, the alerting policy is triggered, which causes two things to happen. Number one, an incident is created, and second, you are notified. For example, through an email that an event has happened and provided with the link to the incident. Now, let us understand the concepts that we mentioned in the scenario. Firstly, what is an incident? It is a record of the triggering event. It is open when an alerting policy is triggered. It contains information that you can use for investigating the problem. When an incident is open, you are also sent a notification, also called an alert, with a link to the incident. Next, what is an alerting policy? An alerting policy describes the circumstances under which you want to be alerted and how you want to be notified. An alerting policy specifies the following. Number one, condition. This describes the specific state of a particular resource or a group of resources and when an incident should be opened. Second, notification channels. This is the channel through which you would like to be notified. Email, cloud mobile app, and PubSub are few examples of channels that are supported by cloud monitoring. Third is documentation. This is the summary of incident and the link to the policy page that will help you investigate the incident. Google Cloud Monitoring offers two types of alerting policy. Number one, metric-based alerting policy. This type of alerting policies are designed to monitor how a metric behaves over a period of time and trigger an incident when there is an anomaly in the metric behavior. Second type of alerting policy is log-based alerting policies, useful in scenarios where you may not have a specific metric emitted but it is logged. These types of alerting policies are designed to monitor and trigger the incident when a specific event occurs in logs. Before creating an alerting policy, ensure you have required permissions. To create or manage alerting policies, your IAM principal must have one of the following roles, monitoring editor, monitoring admin, or project owner. Now, let us walk through how we can actually create a metric-based alerting policy using Google Cloud Console. To do so, go to alerting page under monitoring, click create policy, click on select a metric. Here, you can choose metric and resource type that you would like to monitor based on your business needs. In our example, we will select CPU usage time, for Google Compute instances. Next, you can configure additional options under transforming data to change how points are aligned in time series. Number one is rolling window. It is look back interval from a particular point in time. Second is rolling window functions. It is the function used to combine all data points in the look back interval. If you set the value of this field as five minutes, then at 1 p.m. the sample received between 12.55 p.m. and 1 p.m. will be aligned. We will set the rolling window as 1 minute and function as rate. Optionally, on this page, you can configure filters that allow you to monitor only the subset of series that matches the metric and resource type. We will set this to filter all the machines in the zone US Central 1C. Click on next to configure trigger conditions. Set condition type as threshold if you want to be notified when the value of metric matches the value set in threshold. If you want to be notified when the data stops arriving, set the condition type as metric options. We will set condition type as threshold. Next, select a value for alert trigger. This lets you specify the subset of time series which must be satisfied before an alert is triggered. We will set it as any time series violates. Next, set the threshold position and threshold value fields. For example, if you set these values above threshold and 0.3, then any measurement higher than 0.3 violates the threshold. We will set it as above threshold and threshold value to be 0.1. Next. Expand advanced option window and use retest window menu. This allows you to specify how long measurements must violate the threshold before an incident is created. Default value is set to no retest, which means an alert will be triggered on the first violation of threshold. We will set it as two minutes to avoid false positives. Click on next to configure notification channels. Expand the notification channels menu and select desired channels. Google recommends using multiple channels for redundancy purposes. We will use the email as notification channel. Select notify on incident closure if you want to be notified when an incident is closed. 
Next, configure the time period for which monitoring waits before auto-closing an incident. The default value is 7 days. You can set custom labels to alert policy or include documentation regarding the policy. Finally, enter the name for alert policy and click next to review the policy. On the review alert page, verify that all fields are set as desired. Click create policy to create and enable the policy. Congratulations, the alert has been created. To learn more about alerting, please check out this documentation.